So recently I just picked up two wild caught rainbow trout from my grocery store. Now when you're buying seafood like this, it's important to understand where and how you're getting it. Fresh seafood and wild caught meat always taste better. So when you're browsing through your local grocery store, always go for the freshest thing you see. Now when it comes to fresh fish, rainbow trout is one of my favorite. As you can see, these have a beautiful white meat that just peels off the bone after you cook them. Now these fish don't have many bones besides the spine, which makes it really nice after cooking because you can just peel that meat right off the bone. Now today we're gonna be pan frying this trout. We're gonna lightly dredge it in seasoned flour, saute it in butter, and then top it with a simple brown butter sauce with lemon juice and fresh parsley. So let's go straight to it. So let's start off with our flour mix. To our mixing bowl, we're gonna add about a cup of flour, about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, about half a teaspoon of paprika, a couple big sprinkles of onion powder, and lastly a few sprinkles of garlic powder. Now we're gonna give this a good mix until combined. So this flour mixture will give us a nice crust around our trout, while it still maintains that juicy flavor inside. So we're gonna get our seasoned flour and drop our butterfly trout in. Now we're gonna make sure we coat all sides of this trout evenly so we can get that nice crispy crust. This already smells so good. Now we're gonna set this aside because it's ready to be cooked. Now when it comes to cooking, I definitely prefer gas burners. But gas burners are obviously stationary, so it's a lot harder to make content with them. So for my videos, I use an electric stove. Now although this may not seem like a lot, it will get very hot and it will hold its temperature very well. The only downside is that it's harder to fluctuate between temperatures. So we're gonna start heating up our burner. And while this heats up, we're gonna add some olive oil and about two tablespoons of butter to our pan. Now one of the benefits of adding butter and oil to the same pan is that it will prevent the butter from burning so quickly, which can give whatever you're cooking a much better sear. Now we want our pan to be at about 350 to cook these fish, and as you can see, we're not quite there yet. Now once our pan is up to heat, we're gonna go ahead and lay down our floured trout, skin side up. Now trouts are very thin fish, with very thin meat, so this shouldn't take very long to cook at all. Only about one to two minutes per side. Now after about two minutes, we're gonna give this trout a good flip. As you can see, this fish is beautifully golden brown, and I can already tell this is gonna be delicious. Now this might be very untraditional when it comes to fish, and I understand that, but we're gonna add some fresh thyme and give this fish a nice base. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this step because it kinda messes up the beauty of your fish, but as you can see, this head just peels right off. That's how soft and flaky the meat is, but now it's time to take it off. Now normally when making one of my food creations, I would pick it up and show you guys every corner and edge. But with this trout, that's so difficult. I mean, just look how flaky this meat is. Speaking of which, maybe it's time I try it. That is delicious. Now for our beautiful sauce to complement this trout, we're gonna go in with about half a stick of butter, a couple tablespoons of very finely chopped shallots. We're gonna saute these until they're soft and translucent. Now once our butter starts to get foamy and thicken up, we're gonna go in with a lot of lemon juice. Now we're gonna simmer this and let it slightly reduce. Then to our sauce, we're gonna add a whole bunch of fresh parsley and give this a nice stir. Now we're gonna get our beautiful trout back and ladle out some of that delicious brown butter sauce. Does that look amazing or what? Now it's time for the taste test and you know I gotta give an honest review. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I gotta stop myself before I eat too much. You know, this may not be the prettiest or the most eloquent dish, but this is better than any farm seafood you get at a restaurant. Being that it's wild and fresh, you get that intense flavor that you wouldn't get from a frozen fish. The meat is so flaky and it just dissolves in your mouth. And especially with our brown butter sauce, this meat is so juicy. Also, this recipe could go on any white fish, and this sauce complements seafood so well. So while I wrap up the video, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my beautiful trout. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that button so you don't miss amazing recipes like these. Also, let me know, what should I make next? And give me your suggestions and ideas in the comments below.